Hey Pokey peeps, so today we're going to be playing with a bit of a theme team and it's my evil themed team. So this was suggested by a subscriber on Instagram. So let's get going and we'll see what the team is. As you guys can see, starting with Deception, we've got the Zoroark who's got Dark Pulse, Flamethrower, Hidden Power Ice and Grass Knot. Then we've got Jealousy, the Mimikyu, with the Life Orb, Disguise, Swords Dance, Woodhammer, Play Rough, and Shadow Sneak. Then we have Revenge, the Choice Specs, Gengar, with Cursed Body, Shadow Ball, Sludge Bomb, Hidden Power Fire, and Thunderbolt. Then we have Power. The Crocodile, Choice Scarf, Moxie, Knockoff, Earthquake, Stone Edge, and Fire Fang. Fire Fang's pretty much just there for the Scissors. Then we have Cruelty, the Tentacruel with Liquid Ooze, Leftovers, Scald, Rapid Spin, Toxic Spikes, and Ice Beam. And last on the roster, we've got Creep for Mr. Mime with Life Orb, Technician, Energy Ball, Psychic, and Dazzling Gleam. So, without further ado, let's get started. Hey Pokey Peeps, we're back, and I think with this team in particular, I'm going to lead with Jealousy, then I like to keep Gengar in the back, and then Deception sort of mimics whatever's in the back there, um, which is a little bit, uh, so if they want to go for a, um, uh, fighting type move they can't because they think it's a Gengar um, so pretty much just gonna go with anything bar reception and then Gengar in the back there we're leading with jealousy and he leads with his Hydragon we go straight for a play rough he just goes for a U-turn so that is the scarfed Hydragon probably going into the muck I would assume um, Probably the mark coming in here. That would be the most ideal play for him, in my opinion. The B aware coming in. We miss our play rough because we miss 90 plus accurate attacks like they are going out of fashion. Uh, I'm going to go for a sword stance here. He probably goes for a shadow claw, which will kill. Who, who cares, really? Um, um i'm gonna go into revenge here go for a flamethrower this does double double damage because of his um his ability he goes for the shadow claw does resisted damage because i am in fact my deception and now i'm gonna go for a hidden power ice predicting the hydragon to come in and try and sponge so we call that perfectly we do the 45 percent and i'm fairly sure he's just gonna go for a u-turn on this particular turn um but i don't have anything to swap in so i'm just gonna go for another hidden power we actually outspeed so it isn't the Scarf set, it must have been like a spec set or maybe even the Dragon Z move. A um, couple of cool little sets you can run with it. Okay, the Alola Muck comes in. I'm going for a flamethrower, hoping for a burn here. Do we get it? No, that's all good. He's got the power up punch, which is very scary. I just want to go for another flamethrower here. Um, hopefully, we can get it down to, yeah, around 70% is fine. Uh, and then I'm just going to send in my Crocodile, which is a pretty lethal member of the team here. As we see, he is power, and power is what he does best. Probably the Mimikyu, yeah. So Angie the Mimikyu coming in. I'm going to go into Cruelty here. He probably goes for a Swords Dance, or yeah, probably could have gone for the... Um, Earthquake, just breaking that disguise, but I'm just going to go for a Scald here. We're going to get the Burn because we're really good at this game. And we actually do get the Burn. And he goes for the Let's Snuggle Forever, which will do a fair bit, but because of that Burn, it doesn't actually take us out. And then we go for another Scald here, doing a 
little bit of damage there. He goes for the play rough. Again, not doing that much. He gets the attack drop. Again, no real effect. How much did Skull do? It did 41%. He's got 48% left. I'm going to stay in and go for that Skull. He goes for the Shadow Sneak there, which is fine by me. And I think at this point, I am quite happy to go into the Crooked Isle and go for the Earthquake. Um, getting another boost, and then whatever comes in isn't going to enjoy... Uh, probably the uh, Necrozma coming in, they're bulky as hell. But if he goes into anything else and lets me get another boost up, then the Necrozma is not going to be a threat. Um, the Snorlax coming in, I'm just going to go for an Earthquake. Most likely the Pinchberry, no, the Curse set. Okay. I've just got to go for the Earthquake again here. Hope that that does a little bit more than that. He's just got the rest set. Is he Resto Chesto? He's not. I'm feeling a little bit more confident about this. Uh, is it the Sleep Talk set? It is. Okay. So we need to hit another one of these. Him not hit me with the attack. Probably return, is it? Yeah, so that'll KO. It doesn't KO? Perfect. Okay, and then this Earthquake will get the KO here. And then we'll outspeed the next two coming in, which is fantastic for me. Meaning, beware's going down here for sure. Uh, perfect, perfect. And then the Necrozma. I'm going to go for the Earthquake. There is a way that he can win this. If he has Autonomize on this Necrozma, and no, okay, so it had no Autonomize and it was still capable of living that hit, it definitely could have won. Having Psychic on there would have killed the Gengar, having a go, uh, so yeah, Ghost move would have killed the Mr. Mime, and then any other move would have killed the Croak. So, pretty cool little team there. It does work pretty well together, although there is the major um, fighting weakness and dark weakness. Uh, I tried to use some Pokemon that counteracted each other's weaknesses, but it was a little bit hard to do. I'm going to try and find it on the game. Hey guys, we're back, and pretty scary looking team on the other side. I'm just going to lead with Cruelty here. Uh, doesn't really matter... Although I do definitely just want revenge in the back there. If he leads with the if he leads with the mammoth swine, we're just gonna go for a scold. So scold coming off here. The only thing that can come in that I'd be scared of is the Amoongus. Other than that, yeah, I'm not too scared. I can do whatever I want, scold. And there goes Mamoswine. Rocks aren't going to be going up. So they're two pretty awesome things. And he does end up quitting. Uh, it's a bit of a shame. It was early on. And personally, I like to think that you can win battles after losing one Pokemon. Uh, regardless of if you've thrown it or not. I'll be back when I found another game, guys. Okay, guys. We're back. And we found our second game here. Or third can't really remember. This is a pretty scary team actually. I want to lead with Jealousy here and then everything else. Revenge goes last as always. Um, yeah, this is cool with me. I'm going to go straight for a play rough. He's probably going to go for a return, a U-turn, sorry, is what I meant. Anything that comes in is going to take huge damage. I kind of hope the Su Suicune comes in. Or actually, no, the Crocodile. If the Crocodile comes in, we will 100% do at least 70% to it with the Play Rock, providing we hit. Um, he's really thinking about this one. So the Crowback loses some attack there, which is fine by me. I'm going to go straight for a Swords Dance. He goes for the Brave Bird. Doesn't do that much. Swords Dance going. Um, and then I'm going to go for a Shadow Sneak, which will do at 50%. Brave Bird, that'll kill us. He goes down. I'm not actually that upset about how that just played out. I am sending in power now, though, just to go for a knockoff. Whatever wants to take that, so he just wants to let his gold back, Crowback go down there. The 
Sylveon, most likely coming in now. No, the Mega Beedrill. I'm going to go for a knockoff. This will do a fair bit. Um, Beedrill is very frail. Uh, that was a chuck and a half there uh, by him. Scarfed uh, Infernape can come in as well, or obviously Sylveon. If I go for a knockoff and hit off the choice specs, or I can just go into... What, what do I... I, I think he's going to be a... Um, oh, he had leftovers, and he was just calm minding anyway. That's fine. Creep coming in. Hopefully Creep actually goes down here. Actually, no. That's fine. I can go for a Psychic here. Hopefully he tries to kill me and not a Wish. He goes for the Wish. Um, we go for a Nasty Plot here. He goes for the Carmine. He gets his Wish up. That's fine. We need it to be around 50%, I think, uh, in order to um, KO with... Crook's Earthquake. I'm just going to go for it now. Um, he goes for the Protect. No real point though for that. That was... Um, yeah, he just go, goes for the Earthquake. That does nowhere near enough. He goes for a Carmine and throws this life. Yeah, that, that was a bad choice on his part. Suicune coming in now. I do want to stay and go for an Earthquake. He goes for the Carmine there as well. I feel like this is going to be Rest Coon Skull. Maybe. Oh, the crit 100% mattered there. That only does about 70% at best. We send in our Gengar here. We're going for a Thunderbolt. Um, if he sends in Krook, we're well, actually, we've got nothing for Krook now. Absolutely nothing whatsoever for Krook. Um. Uh, what, what do we what do we got? Crook comes in, and he is the Intimidate set, which is a little less scary. I'm gonna go into ah oh, pursuit, pursuit trap. That's fine. Um, cruelty coming in here. I'm just gonna go for a scold. Hopefully we catch a burn. I don't think earthquake will get us in one hit, and I think we might actually outspeed. If we do outspeed, that's quite cool. We do. Do we get the burn? We don't. He gets the KO. I think we're in a really bad spot here. So Hidden Power Ice. Let's see how much that does. If it does, I think it might actually do half. A good bit, about 50%, I think. Um, but then he can just go straight into the uh, Infernape. I really should have saved Mimikyu a little bit. Definitely was no reason to give that away so quickly. Go for a... Uh, yeah, so it was the Scarf set there. Fairly sure, yeah, we usually... Um, no, Life Orb. No, I didn't realise. Oh, is he 340? Two pretty good games. Unfortunate, I did chuck away the Mimikyu a little bit too um, quickly there. We would have definitely helped against the Infernape and um, definitely think the Crook I shouldn't have let go down. Um, to the Suicune, however, I don't think it would have gone down without that critical hit. Um, but again, it's all part of the game, and yeah, I can't really be too angry at bad luck. Okay guys, if you enjoyed this video, please let me know. Give me a like, give me a thumbs up, whatever you want to do, do it. Let me know down in the comments what you want to see next. I've been really loving all of the support and suggestions you've been giving me on Instagram. I am trying to take those suggestions into mine. Please be patient. If I haven't already done a video that you've suggested, I will get to it. I just have very limited time and I'm doing the best I can. If you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy any of my other videos, so please check them out. As always, bye!